Hi, my name is Joey Papa. I'm a coffee consultant, and today we're going to learn how to make a strawberries and cream frappe. Now, strawberries and cream frappuccinos are typically sold at Starbucks, and they can cost you anywhere from three to five dollars depending on the size you get. But the good news is you can make them at home for a fraction of the price using your home blender and a few ingredients you could find at your local grocery store. Now, strawberries and cream fraps do not have any coffee in them. So if you're looking for a coffee blended beverage, you could um, take this recipe and add two tablespoons of instant coffee to this recipe to get a coffee based uh, blended beverage. But in this case, all you're gonna need is a home blender, you're gonna need a serving glass, and we're, today's recipe is for 16 ounces, and you're going to need some ice in your serving glass. Then you're also going to need some milk, and typically, um, I prefer to use whole milk in a strawberries and cream frap just because it adds a much better, creamier texture and flavor to the beverage. You're gonna need one cup of frozen strawberries, and you're going to need some simple syrup, or you're going to need some vanilla syrup. And if you have a hard time finding that or figuring out exactly what that is, you can typically find these syrups down the coffee aisle of your local grocery store, and they're right next to the coffee beans. If you can't find simple syrup, which is basically just sugar water, you can just buy vanilla, which helps to add some flavor to the beverage as well. All right, now that we got all that, let's get started on actually making the beverage. First, what we're going to do is you're gonna measure out one cup of whole milk. Take the cup of whole milk and add it to your blender. Once you have that in there, you're then going to take one cup of your vanilla syrup and add that to your blender as well. Once you have the one cup of whole milk and the one cup of vanilla syrup, you're then gonna add the one cup of frozen strawberries to your blender. You're then gonna take the, the serving glass that you have, fill it halfway with ice, and then add that to your blender as well. That'll help to create a more thick consistency in the beverage. Then go ahead and turn your blender on high for about two to three minutes. Now, if your blender comes with a preset smoothie setting, you can go ahead and use that. Just make sure that in the end, it's the consistency that you're looking for and that there's no ice chunks or chips floating around in the beverage. If there are, you can go ahead and blend for 30 second increments until you achieve the consistency that you're looking for. Once that's done blending and you find the consistency you're going for, you can then pour your strawberries and cream frappuccino into a serving glass and enjoy. And again, these are great treat for your young child or for yourself on a hot day to make a quick and easy strawberry smoothie. Again, my name is Joey Papa. I'm a coffee consultant. And today we learned how to make a strawberries and cream frappe. 